Our catch point contest, six final rounds, uh, two balls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide. In the right corner, the winner of King of the Ring contest on television last Saturday from Dulwich. Will you go and give a big hand for Peter Cortez? And the third corner from Leicester, also a big welcome for Peter Lepac. And your officials, timekeeper, Mr. Chris Barrett. And your referee this evening, the international star referee from Hungary, Mr. Peter Zach. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the Hexagon here at the Civic Centre Reading in Berkshire for another professional wrestling session. And we start this afternoon's programme with a catchweight bout of six five-minute rounds, two falls to decide, between Pete LaPac at 13 stone. Pete LaPac from Leicester. He's the curly-headed boy. I mean, no question about uh, identification troubles there, although they've got both got black trunks on. John Cortez, his opponent from Dulwich, London, at 10 stone. So is John giving away three stone here? Now, can he, even with his skill, give away three stone to the not quite so experienced Pete LaPac? Six five rounds, six five minute rounds, two falls will decide, and they will tell us at the end of that whether John can stand up to that three stone disadvantage. What a winner! Referee there, Pete. Peter Zakash, there he is. Peter Zakash, the former Hungarian, now naturalized. British, of course. And if uh, we ever see them, these two wrestlers, without being able to see their head, hair or heads, we're going to be in trouble. There is... There are a couple of tattoos on Pete Lepak's uh, forearms. And also there's a sort of a stripe on his pants, which might help us in the left leg of his uh, trunks there. But otherwise, unless we see the curly hair of Pete LaPac, it's going to be difficult. But yes, Pete LaPac from Leicester and John Cortez from Dulwich, London, should be, despite the fact that the difference of three stone, produce quite a good catchweight contest here. Being back from the pack into the backhammer and John Cortez, a little bit of trouble here. Being so light by comparison to his opponent, he's got to watch those moves a little bit on the ground. Ropes break. I imagine that uh, a lot of Grapple fans will remember Pete Lepac and his brother, John Lepac, who wrestled as a tag team often. We haven't seen Pete for a long time as a solo wrestler. I'm sure there are lots of gags I could think of about the word Lepac, but I have no intention to cause corny puns at this stage of the afternoon. John Cortez, who we saw two or three weeks ago from Leamington Spa, and a great bout he had there. It was nice to see him back on television after so long. I hope he won't be away too much in the future either, because this is one of those skillful, lightweight class wrestlers we've had in this country for years now. Almost to the style of the, the Johnny Saints, the Steve Grays, for instance, who we're going to see later on this afternoon in what should be a really terrific contest. <laughs>
Peter Zakash, the referee, of course, and it's welterweight wrestler himself, now given up the wrestling business, but is a very, very slick referee. And less than a minute to go in round one of six. No sign of any score. They're just setting their sights at the moment. These two men of such different weights. Full Nelson, now Cortez, but can't see him holding that for too long. He doesn't even try to. He goes to the side of the chance ring, the head mare from it. But let pack up quick. With half a minute to go, I continually wish that these wrestlers would wear different colored trunks so that uh, those with black and white sets would be able to distinguish more easily. But they will continue to wear the similar trunks, just as this first bout here this afternoon. I'm locked now to La Pac, and only five seconds to go. <laughs> well, a good, nice applause from a obviously a discerning crowd here at the uh, Hexagon, Reading. Peter La Pac from Leicester. And a little bit lucky, maybe, because although his, uh, he had a fairly good possible fall on there, it was John Cortez that counted beautifully right on the bell. Round two. <laughs> round two, five to go. No score. Six rounds in this uh, preliminary contest. And, of course, the tag bout uh, with Big Daddy and Pete Ross versus the South African boys follow this. And then the big one of the afternoon for my money, a return bout of Johnny Saint versus Steve Bray, which should be a real Lulu. But back to the John Cortez, the slighter of the two. But he's back to us now, the canvas there. Caught in an arm lock, held on by the pack's legs. There he is, John Cortez from Dulwich, London, at 10 stone, giving away three stone to Pete LePac of Leicester. Yes, well, ever since that first arm lock that LePac got on Cortez with his legs, he's really laying it on a bit to try and get a complete weakener out of this. Now he's switched to the hands. Double handed wrist lever. Uh, Cortez would not go over. The pipe really tearing in on that shoulder wrench now, but he let him go for a moment of a hot throw by Cortez. Neat. But I think the pipe's caught him again. He has. And again, back to that same arm lock with the legs there. There is no question that the pack has the superior strength of these two as well as the superior weight. And Cortez will have to use all his guile to get out of trouble here. I'm often asked, actually, in... Uh, in many cases by letter, why is it that the promoters put two wrestlers of different weights together? Well, obviously, if one is so skillful as John Cortez, if you put him against a lightweight all the time, it uh, might be a little too easy for him. So put him against a slightly heavier man in the catchweight contest on occasions, and you often see a great bout. Now, here could be an example. If he, he had, him, had him for a moment there, but he went into the ropes, and the ref, referee called ropes break. And the crowd did not like it at all, but really booing there because they thought that Cortez had the advantage just off the ropes. Difficult to see from this side of the ring. It's a very near thing. And anyway, Peter Zakash uh, seldom makes a mistake like that. A couple of minutes to go round two.